Welcome to my second video on this channel. I received a package from Yulia K Studio. She's making handmade watercolors from the beautiful country that is called Sweden. It's been many months that I've been painting with watercolors and I have fallen in love with this medium. So I finally wanted to try handmade watercolors. So, what do we have here? We have her business card with a cute little piggy. I just got shiny paints on my fingers. Tack så mycket för din order, Julia. Thank you for your order. Thank you so much for your order, Julia. So here we have some information about Almo Gesset, which is a set of eight colors with Swedish names that will represent Almo style. It's been a year I'm living in Sweden and I love the Swedish countryside. If you ever sw visit Sweden, I will recommend you to go in the countryside and you will see those small houses surrounded by the forest. There is a video Julia is explaining more about this set, so if you're interested, the link will be in the description. Oh honey! She's making her paints with Swedish uh, local honey. Uh, this is making the, the paints easier to re-wet and you will see later they are really creamy. And we have one sample of in a kind of waxy paper. So yeah, I uh, have bought um, a metal uh, palette from her with three colors of my choice. <laughs> Trying to paint this nicely, but of course I destroyed it. So here it is, the palette. It's a normal one, metallic palette for 12 half pans. We got a nice little sticker. And here is the three colors I choose with two colors coming from the Almoge collection. So we have Marie. This color was made with the same pigment used for painting traditional red Swedish houses and I love that. This is what why I was so excited about this. When I received the package I really want to try this. It's the Faru Red, means Faru Red. This is the blue color called Tisa. It's coming uh, as well from the collection. And the third color, Ellen. It's a kind of shiny metallic purple, kind of aubergine. I'm not so much of a shiny watercolor lover, but this color was so pretty, I had to try it. <laughs> they were a bit hard to open due to the stickiness caused by the honey. But for that, you can put them like five minutes in the freezer and then you can wrap, unwrap them uh, easier. So this is what happens if you don't do it. <laughs> but as you can see, this paint is going to be creamy. And I had no problem for this one. Beautiful, isn't it? So here is a closer look. You can see they are really easy to re-wet. The pigments comes up really fast. This, uh, this color was so pigmented, creamy and rich. I really love that color. And they spread really nicely also. So now Tisa. I've never seen a blue like this. It's really interesting. And Ellen. 
it's so sparkly. I love that kind of aubergine-like color. Purplish. I really like it. And since autumn is my favorite uh, season, I had to have this color. <laughs> But I did a mistake, I should have used a synthetic brush uh, so I could get uh, so I can get the pigments uh, more of the purple pigments. This brush was too soft, I couldn't get so much of pigment. Metallic green. If you know, I love that one too. I'm waiting for you yet to release again this beautiful color. And again, I didn't, I didn't use a synthetic brush. My bad. it now. This is going to be a floor painting. I'm using Conson Mouval 300 GSM watercolor paper. It's not cotton paper but for me it's kind of the best cheapest watercolor paper you can have here at least. So I re-wet the colors and I prepare them. I love that red. It was the easiest paint to re-wet. It felt like melting your brush. I really enjoyed mixing them and kind of experimenting with them. It was kind of relaxing. So, this is the first time I'm uh, using this kind of watercolors in made paints. And uh, I have another set which is uh, Russian Artist Grades watercolors. They're called White Lights. They're really great. But with Yuria's watercolors, I was really surprised how easy they were reactivated. In the end, though, I'm not a fan of sparkly watercolors because I tend, it tends to flat the painting a lot. So I use them for decorating, add some details, but I'm not using them that much. Overall, I really liked Spira at final. It was really fun to mix with it too. I was also experimenting with those colors. What color will I get? In the beginning, I was not quite comfortable using those watercolors. Let's say I was not used to them. They didn't react the same way on the paper as the my uh, White Knights watercolors. Yulia's paint spreaded really easy on the paper, 
so I had a bit less of control. Oh yeah, and in Swedish we pronounce Julia, not Julia, 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 or whatever. <laughs> so now you learn something. I'm not that pro with painting flowers as well. I used to paint them flat in 2D doodles like, but I thought I would give it a try. Like this brown I've made with Spira in some red, it turned out great. And mixing with it was like my favorite moment of the painting. I chose those colors because I thought they were not common. I didn't have any similar in my White Knights palette, so I really wanted to experiment and try with handmade watercolors. I saw so many artists using those kind of paints and so many creators opening their shops so it was really tempting and I was so glad to find that Yulia was making watercolors because as a student I can't really afford uh, to buy from USA or countries out of the European Union because there is the shipping cost and the taxes we need to pay when it comes in Sweden because it's coming out of the European Union. So I was really happy to find out that one person was making handmade watercolors in Sweden. It was fast to come, perfectly packaged and cheaper. I would definitely buy more from Julia. She's releasing new colors every first of the month. And she's selling sets or you can buy individual colors of your choice uh, in full pants and half pants as well. She got a large amount of colors, especially shiny metallic ones. And I realized that is a big thing in handmade watercolors. So you are welcome to check her Etsy shop. Link will be in the description. I went a bit disappointed with the painting with my uh, my purple flower. I had a bit of problem to how to say uh, to blend. Let's say it kind of my paper sucked all in the paper. It it dried too fast, kinda. I, didn't, I wasn't fast enough, so you see all the brush strokes and I wanted to remove the darkest to take dark areas out, but I failed. So I thought whatever, I'm gonna ink it and we'll see what it's gonna look like. For inking I'm using uh, Sakura Micron pens with archival ink it's waterproof as well you can ink uh, first with those they're kind of affordable color I choose. I'm not disappointed at all. They're really soft and they're really pigmented. I was really surprised with the Marie. Marie, Marie, Marie. <laughs> I think it's my favorite with Spira and I will recommend really to check out her shop. The combination of color here kind of look more autumn colorish 
result of the painting with another camera and without those yellowish lights. I think these colors together fits well even with those fails. I will definitely learn to try out and uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out Lilia shop. Here my cat wants to speak. Do you have something to say, Queen? I'll put you speaking. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment, and We'll see in another video. Goodbye. Aido. Kudo.